All right, let's radical path. Oh, cool, I didn't. I mean, I saw this last time. Experience gain, ooh. Yeah, I don't want that. And, uh... This is that one. So we got two, one more to get there now, and this one's got like three, it looks like. All right, let's, actually, let's do rarity, okay. Craziness. Craziness. Finding the Harlequin. So I'm still... How did I... The last pair created by the ancient Aldar Trent. Hold up. I wasn't in this planet before, so they, they moved me without showing the animation. Can't do that. Alright. Heart and nerve center of the entire subsector with an entire city is dedicated to run at Truxia, despite the constant difficulties proximity dark nexus presents. Right, we already read that one. Okay, so Lararch. Once a late uh, paradise created by ancient Eldar terraforming techniques, now a barren world of desert, bleak obsidian fields littered with ruins and majestic Eldari structures. The reason for this total planetary annihilation are shrouded in mystery. Although certain rogue traders are still spreading heretical rumors about a rash imperial counter-strike against Eldar in the past. Mega 5 is essentially a group of several orbiting mining facilities originally found by the Adeptus Mechanicus and populated by legions of engine seers and cybersmiths who control the colossal excavators, tirelessly tearing apart the planet below for unique material. Mineral. Now that the operation has been moved to other planets, the station has fallen into disrepair at any given time will give shelter to pirates, heretics, and deserters of the Imperial Guard. Tristan Prime, Caldari world that uh, has trouble in the past after the factional infighting of trouble of a couple uh, temple content, continent? Wow, sorry about that. Infighting of a uh, for the control of a temple continent led to the brutal civil war. The agents of the Caldari Con uh, Conclave discovered evidence of a chaos ploy that incited the entire conflict. When the Imperial forces intervened, the situation swiftly escalated and several large cities, which had been burned to cinders during the punitive, punitive measures, are still uninhabited and crawling with mirrors. Jeez, I cannot talk. Fort Valleys. Oops. No. What? Ah. Uh, I think this is where that... I hope our little misunderstanding in the past won't cast a shadow on our relations, Inquisitor. Huh. All right. An ancient star fort, all records of it have been mysteriously deleted from all Imperial archives. It used to be one of the secret research sanctums of Uber Ti Uther Tiberius, a visionary inquisitor. After his excommunication, the place was investigated thoroughly and used by Inquisition for long centuries. After a fatal chaos incursion, it was abandoned after the Order of Caldera Conclave. A be bygones, be bygones, Inquisitor, Kelbert, still I expect more from Inquisitor of the Order of Heretics. It is an understandable but deeply misguided expectation. <laughs> if you spend your waking hours hunting for heretics, traitors, and mutant aberrations, you tend to adopt some of their methods. It's regrettable, but also inevitable. You should aim at higher standards because you can't understand your reasoning more than you think. Once I stumbled on an interesting quote in an old scroll, probably predating even the dark age of technology. Something about gazing into the abyss. I hope our little misunderstanding in the past won't cast a shadow on our relations, Inquisitor. It what happens if I say that? Alright, so that's just... Guided expectation. A cool... If you voice. spend your waking hours Shut up, dude. hunting for heretics, Take traitors, and mutant aberrations, oh my God, he's still talking. you tend to adopt some of their methods. Shut up, it's man. regrettable, but also inevitable. Oh my God. If you uh, grant me the opportunity to speak with Encarnacer in private, according to the Xeno, sorry, order of Xeno's 
Inquisitor, the Black Library is the only place where I can find answers to my questions. This legendary Caldera craft rules beyond our reach, but he knows a mysterious Harlequin who could help us find it. Whoa! It doesn't look like a normal Tyranid. His eyes look cartoonish. Nice. Careful down there, Inquisitor. The world is crawling with Tyranids. My main concern is not those Xenos, but another one in particular. Are you certain that the Harlequin will be here? I am as much as one can be certain about Harlequins. But I know her, and I'm confident you'll meet her. It is surprisingly quiet at the moment. The Tyranids are hibernating, but trust me, your arrival will stir them up mightily. A precise and surgical strike is what I need now. Send me the coordinates of the Harlequin. There are three webway gates in the area. The Harlequin could be near any of them. I'm still perplexed by the ferociousness of the Tyranids without their high fleet. It is indeed remarkable. The Xenos recognize the possibility of a full-scale invasion and use the available biomass to infect as many planets as they could. Still, eventually they were purged by the Imperium. Not entirely. After the okay. Tyranids had scattered their forces, isolated diaspores were able to survive eradication. Mostly on the more backwater planets. What the hell? How's that saying go about plans extending beyond contact with the enemy? Well, it happens. If the surgical strike does not work, we can always try brute force. I gotta get better at uh, pulling up the clues. Now when I'm they... beginning to see why the threat of the isolated Tyranid diaspores led to the Adaptus Mechanicus to auto exterminate us. Yes, that was the sad fate of this maiden world. The current situation proves, though, that even an exterminatus might not be enough. What is more disturbing is that this proves that this particular hive mind acted like a highly intelligent being and used cold logic. All right, here we go. So, Tyranids have invaded Atra subsector centuries ago, belonging to previously unidentified hive fleet, codenamed Garm which annihilated numerous planets before the Imperium managed to destroy its main forces in a savage battle near Forge World Thil. Battle against the remaining Xenos organism is still ongoing in the Caldera sector, but okay. So when the destruction of the High Fleet Garm was inevitable, the Tyranids changed tactics and infested as many planets as possible. Most of these worlds were purged, but the less populated planets still harbored Xenos and Tyranid forces. The Eldari main world, Larch, was among those seriously infested worlds, such that the Imperial declared Exterminus against it. Some Tyranid organisms had also possessed a psychic power that unites the Tyranids for one whole swarm. But killing this particular specimen makes this swarm lose control. My mysterious heart. Honor. We must talk, Harlequin. Seriously, this time. I have fought my way here. No, human. You have barely started fighting. The true battle only begins now. Damn it. My tolerance for your riddles has not increased greatly since last time. Still, you are exactly where you need to be. Not far from here, upon the plains of despair, where the towers no longer sing laments, lies the ruin of the Shrine of the Prophecy. Damn I've it. warned you about talking in riddles, haven't I? Your kind call it the Viserum Prophecy. That is where the corrupted wanderer, the one you call Uther Tiberius, followed the same visionary words. Tell me about the shrine. Why? You would not understand it. The shrine holds great power, which is why the devourers are drawn to it. I will lead you there once the path is clear. And if I refuse to play my part in your wicked theatrics? Then the Nexus will open, and its purple gaze will fall upon your falling empire, Inquisitor. You sound just as insane as I thought. However, I have an idea about that swarm. I will join you in the endless dance of nice. death after you have walked through wow. fire and flames.
interesting. Oops. Journal. So, um, found the official file on Mercer and uh, during my journey, followed it. It's permit yet, yeah, right? Uh, talk to Captain. I have good news. The Free Blade Knight is awaiting deployment against the Tyranids, and Sir Ambrose Caradoc is currently reciting the prayers of sacred recalibration in the hangar. That zone is the epicenter of the infestation. He needs to be prepared. Ah. What am I supposed to do now? I have no clue. Alright, turn in minutes. I look at the Harlequin of the former Maiden World, which became a barren, featureless way of slant after it exterminized the of all life, except for the Tyranid organisms that survived the bombardment hiding on the ground. Grand Iron Air of it. Harlequin agreed to help me, but first I had to purge an Elder Shrine in the epicenter of the Tyranid infestation. It took Van Wynas' advice and called in Sir Whatever and his Free Blade Knights to assist us. I don't fully understand. Another heroic quest to cull the oh, enemies sweet. of mankind. Yes. Glory yeah. to the Emperor! I admire your sense of dedication, but yes. focus on your mission. The threat you are about to face is immense. What else would a solitary knight seek, yes, yes, yes. if not a relentless battle, and a victory against all the odds? The zone of your current engagement is swarming with Tyranids. I must also warn you about the venomous clouds obstructing large areas. Trust me and the Crimson Wanderer, my brother in battle. I am not your battle brother, sir, but I wish you a good fight. You must clear the entire area so the Inquisitor can proceed to the target location. That communication was 100% not necessary, like, and like, it didn't add much, even though it was quite long. Go that way. Move those legs. Only once. Rest assured, of all the filth of the galaxy, I hated those abominations the most fiercely. There we go. No, 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 it's another swarm. Let's just see that final dude.
Where's this go? Ah. You should have, uh, uh. This is a fun map, but right now, like, you know, like, the map shouldn't be continuing on right now. They should have, like, allowed me to run faster or, at this point, force all enemies to come to you. Because. are reporting new activity. The massacre has drawn out the synapse creature as expected. My experience in Xenos matters is limited to fighting them, Inquisitor. Is this development good or bad? <laughs> it is quite subjective, I'm afraid. You will be facing a truly monstrous creature. However, it also possesses a psychic power that unites the Tyranids of this swarm. So killing it makes them lose control. But that is great news! The more dangerous the opponent, the more glorious the victory! Alright, dude. Inquisitor, <laughs> the swarm is no more. The Crimson Wanderer has fulfilled its sacred duty. The area has been cleared. The machine spirit of my knight will need some soothing psalms after all this taint. You are free to proceed to the ancient shrine you seek, Inquisitor. Sweet. Sweet. Alright. Sir, Kyle broke through the turn ranks. Battle of horror without this okay. Time is this of the essence here. Right. I can tell based on how you guys made that last motion. <laughs> Inquisitor, may I remind you that you have only gained temporary respite by eliminating the Synapse creature. The Tyranids are still unorganized, but soon another organism will replace the original Synapse creature. I have no time to lose then. I must locate that Eldari shrine immediately. Let's go. Dang it.
another Eldari memory crystal, which has survived an exterminatus. I wonder what it could contain. All right, spirit stones of the ancients may protect us against those or she who thirsts, but they are useless in this nightmare. Plus, my lover glimpsed into the flow of time, and there is only death. The monarchy celebrating a hollow victory. Once the body arrives, the plants will burn, and all will be devoured by the great maw, severing the tendril. Granted us some time. If the cold general uh, answers us, there may be hope. Conclusion: Alpha. The decryptic monolith imprint lacks cohesive logic. But correlates with the theory of Arc Visker Roberic Theta 10. The sighted Magos may be blessed be the omnicized Decibel Bliss, was the greatest expert in Tyranid organisms in the Kalik Dark Sector. He theorized that we were facing only probing incursions from these aberrations, and main force of the Hive fit Fleet Garm has yet arrived. This theorem would also explain the unusual lingering behavior of the surviving Tyranid organisms. Okay. You are closing in on the shrine. The architectural components of the nearby ruins are consistent with our records on spiritual Aldari structures. I'm convinced that it has become the lair of something much more materialistic. The Emperor's light has found me. He's in our throat. This is our annoying. But our one of my favorite Zer Zerks. Tyranids. Um if I ever buy one self sit. Dude, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? The last act in this grand tragedy will soon un- Bioscanners indicate the approach of psi-active organisms, probably inbound from the adjacent zone. So it has been just a lull. I'd better get ready for them then. Charlie Quinn's annoying. I always believe that the end justifies the means, therefore I will not blame you for manipulating me, but I have no more time for games. I want the truth. Or I will willingly misled by Inquisitor. Wait, I you have willingly misled Inquisitor and your sentence should be dead, but I must have unravel the mystery for this prophecy before judgment is served. Alright, so yeah. Staying with the one on the left. Are you willing to cooperate? On one condition. What would that be? You really, really need to survive your next battle. <laughs> nice. promised you answers, human. So, you will have your answers. Did you lead me here on purpose? I might have manipulated you to help me take the spirit stone from this scorched pit of despair our planet has become. Yes. Did you lie about everything? The prophecy? The Alpha Pariah? I cannot lie. My role forbids it. Your Inquisitor brother knows that. That's why you were sent here. Clever, clever Mercer. I weave my words too carefully for lies. Enough of this. <laughs> Do you know the answer to my question or not? There is a place deep within the maze that spreads between the real space and the warp. And in the heart of that living, twisting labyrinth lies the Black Library. You are stalling again. I'm losing patience with Wait, you. Wait, am I going out to the webway? The library is a repository of forbidden knowledge. A vast collection of books still unwritten or lost forever. And I stole the prophecy from its darkest vaults. You had it the entire time? I told you I didn't lie. Take the prophecy. It is yours. I swear, that's the last time I deal with the Eldari. Alright. Fortune, pain, and prison and cold steel, it will come, revered and hated and feared, into the domain of the beast with a thousand eyes, with the trial of flame and blood and sorry, trials 
of flame and blood and might, it will be adorned with the crown of emptiness. Into the wound that bleeds nightmares, it will walk to rule a shape, destroy a labyrinth of no life. Notes. The pretentious poem is Aldari interpretation of the source material. The original Fabricus data is basically a collection of intertwined equations in the most pristine involved language. The so-called prophecy is the only most su superficial layer. The true meaning is hidden in the blessed numbers. Analyzing the data may take decades, but according to my early evaluations, this text may be considered as a pattern blueprint containing genetic, sorry, generic, genetic and imperium formula. Thesis Alpha. The data contained in the Viscrum prophecy correlates with the experience of Uther. Knowing the manipulative ways of the Eldari, there is a possibility that the same information was shared with Uther Tiberius Milan and Go. These Xenos have an exceptionally strong connection to the Empyrean, therefore the Alpha Phyra, Pyra, and the T must be an enigma for them, an enigma for them. Observation Alpha. The supplementary data embedded in the stringing dis strings describing the crown of emptiness makes it evidently clear that it is a unique and physical object. Observation Omega. As a creature of reason, I don't believe it is oversimplification, such as history repeats itself, but here are certain parallels between Uther's early days, classified data for the and our expedition. I rate this an extremely unsettling observation. Don't think I understood that. All right, I'll read that once I get back to the ship. Oh. I uh, am. Let's get out of here. Shame. All right, tyrannids of the high fleet garms scattered throughout the subsector, invested as many places as could. Countless purge only to wait much larger invasion force. Uh, time to clip. Okay, right. All right, let's take a look. So, prophecy. Talk to Magos Bell. I just uh, obtained a prophecy supposedly describing being a bearing strong resemblance to Alphaphyra, her trials, and her inevitable fate. The prophecy alludes to a certain unique aspect, artifact that could be used to control the Alphaphyra's abilities. Uh, my task is to obtain this ancient relic. Caldari or something or other. Um, I decided to archive all intriguing additional information for each examination. Search the sign and aspect relay station. All right, all right, let's keep on going with this. What do you make of this ancient prophecy, Magos? The tech priest considers it pure Xenox nonsense. My opinion is more nuanced, but I can't see any practical use for it either. You are being too harsh. The prophecy alludes to certain facts that we know are valid. You are willing, then, to accept the existence of a million-year-old artifact created by a race long extinct that somehow had knowledge of the birth of beings like her. Uther's research was based on ancient fabricators' technology. The existence of the Alpha Pariah could easily be the result of this prophecy. In that case, the Pariah needs the artifact to control her powers and fulfill her true potential. Otherwise, she presents grave danger to everyone. Okay. This fabricatus thing is this um I don't know. Do you have a destination for me? I have faced some daunting tasks, but finding an unknown artifact created by a long extinct race sounds impossible. The tech priest has scoured the available inquisitorial archives of classified data tropes. Nothing. Luckily, we have an acquaintance who knows his way around the system. Are you referring to Nathaniel Grexus, the resourceful rogue traitor captain with a shady past? In his youth, Grexus made a fortune as a trader in Xenos relics. He has abandoned that particular career since then, but he must have kept his contacts. I suppose you might have an idea as to his whereabouts? We have exchanged messages recently. He was on his way to the mining world, Arcadus. Then we will follow him. He will surely be glad to see us. Okay.
weird how these like don't level up. Alright, prophecy provided by the Harkwood refers to a mighty entity that could be capable of sealing a dark nexus and potentially changing the fate of the entire galaxy. The entity might be the Alpha Pyra, Pariah, but she needs a mysterious fabricator, Fabricatus relic to control her immense power. I found, I found no usable information archives in it, but Jonas suggests suggests a useful acquaintance, visual name, Nathan Grexus, a rogue trader, good connections. Okay, so. Yeah. Unwilling informant. Is that, uh, it's not even listed here. I don't understand how we are supposed to know which one it is. Anyways. Nice. The tech priest has sent out several scryer skulls. We have a hit on Grexus. And what is our old friend doing here exactly? May I hazard a guess? Old Nathaniel Grexus must be quite busy with one of his suspicious deals. This area is a hideout for rebellious deserters. Whatever he is doing here, I will most certainly not approve. Are you willing to face an army of rebels? They will have a chance to show penitence. Huh. <laughs> it's the nastiest green water ocean I've ever seen. Or C, I guess. They had a chance to show penitence. Now they have left me no choice. The hell is that thing supposed to be? Do I want to know? We have the pick feed from the Scryer Skulls. Here we go. You have betrayed me, you filthy rat. Call me a rat again and I will break your jaw. Secondly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? An Imperial agent has landed in the zone. Tell me it was not you. Don't you dare pin this on me, you scoundrel. Snitches like you deserve death, but we can use you as a hostage. Lads, watch this filth while I deal with this mess. <sighs> Great. Old Grexus is being, well, himself again. I have no time to lose. Inquisitor. They have fortified their camp with advanced defense systems. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> ah, I should have just waited. Nice. Rebels are surprisingly well equipped for a group of simple deserters. The Emperor's Knight has found them. It's true. All right, Commander Larkitz, is my understanding that you and your men formerly served in Astra Militarum. I must confess that if that is indeed true, your under, utter lack of discipline is a sad reflection on the current standards of the Imperial military. I harbor no doubts that your loyalty, but as the person financing your company, I will not tolerate delays and disobedience. My work is of paramount importance, yet you're a waste of resources on petty mischief. You have failed to deliver my shipment in time because you are too busy organizing your illicit Prometheum plant. I trust you will not fail me again, or I will make you uh, my research subject. The contacts of Captain Grexis Stop. seem to dabble in Prometheum smuggling as well. These rebels have a shadowy benefactor with the moniker the Savant. That could be an important need. Obey or die! These rebels keep dealing in all sorts of dubious activities. The increasing warp surges tore this sector apart for a very long time, fragmenting the largest Astro Militarum regiment into separated entities. Those who are weak of faith have fallen into the abyss of foul treachery. to get past. Another clue. I miss you, Ellen, my love. I miss you and the children so much. I still pray to the Emperor to bring you back to my life soon. <laughs> All happens to hard, I guess. I remember my promise, but I can't tell you too much about the current job. Balzar still reads through our correspondence if he is bored, just like the old days. There isn't much to tell, really. I mostly am on guard duty. This time, patrolling an abandoned patrolling field on an Emperor's Forsaken Dirt Ball. Not the most lucrative business, but since Anderson's demise, we tried to keep a low profile. I am still thinking about the Colonel a lot. He could be insufferable, but fate handled him terribly. terrible cards. Stranded on a starving hive world, cut off by a warp surge, what else can he do? If the Commissar had been a bit more open-minded, the whole thing could have been ended better. After all, it was us or them situation, you know? Let bygones be got- uh, bygones. A survivor from Carnus Maxima told me that the Colonel had tried to make a deal with an Inquisitor, Clusterheim, to redeem the regiment. Dealing with those blood bloodthirsty bastards usually isn't the brightest idea, but are the penal regiments or the gallows? He tried at least, that's more than I can say about us. Our happier subject, the Savant, keeps his world and with the new supplies. We are starting to look like soldiers again. Not a bad feeling, I must admit. The work could be 
worse, we're all not taking slaves and there's no point in this killing. We are not free from danger, but at least I can sleep well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Inquisitor, what a sight for sore eyes. Not a remark that I hear often, I must admit. I bet. The bottles. But you have saved my precious hide again. Praise the Emperor. I had some pressing reasons to seek you out, Grexus. I sense a recurring pattern here, Inquisitor. I'm always glad to help the Imperium. <laughs> It was there we go see the chest over there it's so hard to get uh, better equipment right now I don't know if that's intentional or if I'm doing the game wrong so tell me inquisitor how can I assist the Imperium today I hear that you are an expert on Xenos relics Oh, or. well, I've only dabbled in the fine arts, unless you want to transport them unnoticed by Imperial authorities, then I am definitely your man. Huh. Let us pretend I didn't hear that. I am trying to locate a unique Xenos artifact. In that case, I might know of someone who could be of help. They call him the Savant. Same the guy. shadowy figure behind your criminal friends. Who said anything about friends? I was led to believe that they conduct legitimate business. Or misled, rather. That savant, on the other hand, is far from a law-abiding citizen. He, or she, is running an operation dealing in black market Xenos art in the subsector. And where could I find the savant? I have no idea. But I can <laughs> lead you to the base of those despicable gentlemen you have just obliterated. Righteously, of course. They are business partners now. I hope that your assumption is correct, and I will find information about the Savant's whereabouts there. Huh. I don't know what to say. Still 37, way off. Man. It's like nothing. Nothing coming close to the level I'm at. All right, let's uh, go to Tech Tree, yeah? There we go. Got 97, that should be enough for, there we go. All right, uh, let's try to craft something, yeah? No, start, no! All right, um. Yeah, I don't think that, I mean, that's going to be good. So that's the end of my episode. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.